everyone, I'm Ethan Masharia, a four month student in Nova Pioneer School. I am really honored to be here at the math bench today and let's get to it. There's a large difference, there's, there's one very big difference and the difference is that secondary maths is a lot more detailed when it comes to certain topics and they are a lot like they are brisked through a lot faster than primary maths like for example if you're let's say doing about a triangle they would go into detail about how exactly to make that triangle without certain tools rather than in primary when you're told exactly how to do it this one in secondary they let your imagination explore and let you think of your own ways of doing it while learning how to do it. I think the best way to adjust to secondary mathematics is to simply listen to your teacher because honestly you're in this new playing field when you're informant you have no idea what's going on and you really need to focus and pass your exams so the best thing to do is go to a more experienced person, be it not the teacher but a higher student or somebody you trust who's been doing this for a longer time than you would really help in helping you adjust from primary mathematics to secondary. Personally, I grab math concepts a bit slower than most, but I always go and ask the teacher later on or I ask a friend to explain to me and so it's it's better that way but most times I don't really grasp them as fast as I wish I could but I still manage to get the whole concept later on after asking a few people. What I think is my favorite math study habit or my most consistent one is doing five questions every morning for at least three to four days a week because by doing that you remind yourself of the concepts remind yourself of how to do it um, the steps in which to do it and if you ever get stuck or you forget something you realize your mistake and you can always go and ask a teacher who can explain it to you better than you could understand and then thus you would be able to really grab the concept even better than before. And by doing this, you not only improve in maths, you also get um, you also get a schedule which is very good for you when you're trying to schedule yourself into dividing all your study times. Um, personally, how I prepare for a math exam, what I've learned before every exam, a nap is always useful to me. I like napping. But during preps, during preps, I always revise. I always make sure I have at least one friend to revise with. Because what I've learned is that teaching another friend or revising with another friend is much better than having to revise on your own, trying to master formulas by yourself. It would create as big as a memory as when you're with your friend and you're sitting down and every once in a while there's a joke and you laugh about it. It makes the revision more memorable and so does the formulas and so does everything else. And thus when the exam comes you'll be like, oh, I remember making this joke with my friend and it was about this same question and then you're like, yeah. And then you get the answer correct and it's all because you revise with a friend and that's what I normally do. Sometimes it's with my close friends, sometimes it's with a random person, as long as you're revising or whoever you feel comfortable with. Personally, I consider myself a student who has improved gradually, slowly but gradually, because if I look at the way I've been going from the beginning of term one, you know everyone says, in term one, you should be passing, you should, it should be very easy, it should skyrocket. But for some people, it's, it's a bit different because it's a new environment, you're new to how, how it all comes at you. It's like 
all through and you all at once because you come sit down for your first exam like yeah I've got this of course there's no question there's no choices and you're like yeah you have that mentality but once the paper reaches you and you see oh my gosh they actually know what there are no answers like there are no multiple choice answers and it really gets to you so that really got to me in term one it took me a while to adjust but after asking teachers and revising constantly I've learned sort of the trick I've learned the secrets behind how to pass secondary maths and I'm starting to improve slowly by slowly I'm not saying I'm perfect I'm not saying I'm one of the top in the class nowhere near but what I'm saying is that I'm getting there slowly but surely I'm getting there like I've said previously I'm revised constantly I have asked for help and above all else I haven't given up because I have a lot of friends who say ah maths is too hard I'm done with it they look at it and they lock their minds out it's a very dangerous thing to do in form one and you and you're like no this teacher is mean to me or I can't get this math equation or it's just too hard for me it's not math isn't I'm not that math guy and you know the thing is no one is that math guy no one's the guy who always passes at maths. No, they want to pass at maths. And so they work hard to pass at maths. And that's why they pass at maths. And I realized that earlier, even in class 8, when I realized that it's not a matter of whether, oh, it doesn't fit for me. It's a matter of whether I want it to fit for me. What am I going to do to make it fit for me? And so I never had that I cannot do attitude. I had that I can do attitude. Because it's just a simple matter of are you willing to put in the work to succeed? Most people would say yes, but do they actually put in the work? I decided I would and now I'm, I'm improving, I'm doing well, I'm getting better and I'm not just praising myself. I've been told this by a couple of my friends and my, and my maths teacher. He says, Ethan, I can tell you're not very good at maths, but you're improving and I'm, and I'm happy that you are and you should continue like this. I have my vision. My vision is straightforward. It's to work hard, have some fun here and there, but not to lose sight of my goal. And my goal is to simply and flat out get an A in maths. Because why would you settle for less when there's more? If you can get an A plus, why would you go for a B plus? Not just because you've refused or just because you've said, no, I would not, just because I'm a bad person, I'm not. No, you can do more than what you want. Look, I, was, I watched a movie and this wise person once said, look beyond what you see, which simply means what you have is, is little to what you can get. So how do I envision my path? I envision it strong. And I envision it with an A in the end. My advice would be, although some of us are not those um, die hard, I'm going to sit down and work for 10 minutes straight or one hour straight or however, however long it's going to be, try and work to your extent. Don't work till somebody tells you to work one hour and then you get upset about it and you go with a negative mindset. No, work to your method. If somebody, if, if you feel like you can't do it to a certain point or you feel like somebody's pressuring you too much, just simply talk to them and say, I want to do maths at my pace. Don't start, and don't use that to your advantage, because I know there are sneaky people out there who will be like, I want to do it to my advantage, so I will nap every two hours, do maths for one minute and finish. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying, do maths, but at your own pace. Not too slow of a pace, not too fast, at your pace. There are guys who will do one hour, I guess we'll do five minutes and the result could be the same. 
So for those students out there, work hard with what you have and don't give up. That's my simple advice as a humble format student. Thank you for having me on Mark Bench.